Right, you're watching TVC Breakfast. Let's get to the next discussion now. The 2023 general election is set to be a record breaker with re regards to youth participation, as data released by the Independent National Electoral Commission shows that the youths constitute the highest number of registered voters, 48 million out of the over 93 million eligible voters on INEX register are youths and going by recent political developments, it seems a large percentage of youths will participate in this election unlike previous ones. Nigerian youths have been known to show apathy towards elections and politics, but it seems that uh, that jinx has been broken as youths are now at the forefront of political activities, with many even contesting for elected positions. And that's the crux of our discussion right now. Joining us in the studio is a special advisor for water and drainage resources to the Lagos State Governor uh, and leader Ndibo Group, Lagos, Joe Ibukwe. It's nice to have you join us here. Thank you for having me. Good morning. Good I, I hope you rested well from the rallies and so on. <laughs> <laughs> we are, you know, the peak of events. Oh, know. yes. Few days to go. No, through. a few days to elections. Days to go through. All right. Now let, let me let me, if you cast our minds back to uh, the pre-independence, those who were involved in all of the meetings, back and forth campaigning, were young people in their in their you know relative in their young their youth youthful age at the time, mm -hmm. and they were at the forefront of activities up until. You know, the military came and then changed that process a little bit, you know, and then we had elders coming in and so on. It, otherwise, when it comes to political activity, we've always known it to be youthful uh, activity. But we see the youth coming up on board now, showing interest. interest. What, what do you think is behind this surge in the involvement of youth in the process? First, you know, dynamics will always change. Hmm. That's number one. Two... The advent of social media also have, have from, and then they are seeing what is happening in other climes. So they are keying in to, to, to begin to get involved in matters of elections and picking somebody who is going to represent you. So it's natural. It's natural. So, and um, we saw it coming and it came. And a lot of work. We wouldn't know what we did to get here. A lot of work, street to street, you know, meetings all kinds of things, especially in this election. There was too much consultations, you know, permutations here and there, you know, talking to people, telling them to, this, telling them that this is your right. Take it. You know, so it's not going to be the same again. And talking people, about youth, you have been uh, at the receiving end of a lot of youth violence yourself. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, how, how are you uh, putting all of this in context in this, in this election? Well, <laughs> it's a price that we have to pay for our country, you know. We've come a long way. I have a long history of, um, you know, doing this. Publicity secretary for almost 15 years, you know. This is him, so it's, it's expected. It's expected. Um, but I had thought that we are we are moving, that we, were, we couldn't have been coming to any agitations and so many other things, you know, you know, we are brought to the fore and um, some of us, you know, but some of us felt big victims, but it, it didn't stop us from doing what we want to do mm. because the nation first. Oh, yes. The but but let's, let's see from this perspective. Uh, at various public fora, people talk about youth as leaders, youth as leaders. But if we x-ray the Nigerian youth, how ready is the Nigerian youth for that leadership mm. that everybody talks about? That ideal, mm. it seems everybody talks about the ideal leadership, mm. Mm. you know, somebody who is visionary, somebody who is concerned, somebody who is on ground, you know, whatever. But if we x-ray the Nigerian youth, how ready is he for this leadership that is all, always often talked about? No, you, you have to key in. You have to learn. First, you have to be schooled very well. And then you line up. Because there are people who cannot retire. You can't become a leader overnight. People ask about your antecedents. Where are you coming from? Mm. What You're have you me. done before? Mm. Yeah. Because if you give a mediocre, because it's a youth, to lead a state or to lead a local government, 
you would have wasted four years. And if care is not taken, you waste eight years. So we need to know what you have done that will make you occupy a certain position. You have to tell us what you have done. If you say you want to be a medical director in a hospital, okay, are you a doctor? What, no, what, how many years have you practiced the, 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 pro, the, you know, the profession? You know, so these things will, will challenge you. So first of all, you key in and begin to learn, begin to climb the ladder small, small, small until you get there. It's not something that happens overnight. People are people have been there. I was in one one uh, incident. You you remember it when uh, you were organizing uh, the Igbo Igbo uh, Group. groups in mm -hmm. in Lagos. Yes. And some people were coming. I said. People should learn to stay on the queue. Yes. <laughs> so People should learn to so, stay on the queue. Well, line up. You can't just come out and say you want to be no, a leader. No, 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 no. <laughs> line up. Go and queue. Where were you in the days of the low cost? Where were you when we were fighting for June 1993? Is it not 30 years on? 30 years on. It's just like our principal. Yesterday I saw a photograph. When Abiola was moving, with Abacha, he was at the back. With the, same, with the same logo. Yeah, the same logo. Yeah, exactly. 30 years on. Yeah. You're about to say, it's yeah. not a day's job. Yeah. You have to line up. We have seen it all. Talking about you know? lining up, mm -hmm. um, the uh, Igbo community in Lagos and Ashura Jude, they've come a long way. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that in spite of, in spite of, uh, the relationship, there, there's still a tension between the Igbo community and uh, the Ashwaju and the APC. Ah, well, you know, this is, this is just pure politics. You know, they will tell you um, that Igbo people have not ruled this country since the end of the Civil War in 1970. That's 50 years on. They will tell you. Are we strangers, you know? And now that they have somebody on board. But it's, it's only their job, too. We kept on saying these things. Some of these things we are doing will hurt us when the time comes. So you have to get prepared. Just that you are shouting now. You, 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 everywhere. We know about structures. We know how we got here. If you want to be accepted by all Nigerians. If you want to win a general election, win south, win the north, east, west, you have to build bridges. Bridges. That's what we've been trying to teach, but it's difficult to understand. You have to build bridges. You have to build friendship. You have to work for people so that other people will work for you when the time comes. That's what and I always use that one as an example. I said, these things are not overnight issues. Look at this big player, how he started. How in 2015, he came out in 2015. 2015, yeah. 2015, mm -hmm. before, in 2012. Mm -hmm. He was the one that went to Daura after Buhari had lost in 2003, mm -hmm. 2007, mm -hmm. 2011. Mm -hmm. In 2012 or 2013, Achiwaji went to Daura with Baba Konde. Dr. Momo. Mm -hmm. It was Momo that told me this. Even before he died. He said, Joe, I want to give you this information. I've said it here before. I want to give you this information so that you know. I'm privy to it. Yes. No, you don't so, to. So I'm privy to he, it. He went to him in Daura. He said, look, you came in 2003. You scored 11 million votes. You didn't win. 2015, you repeated the same feat. In 2011, you made it 12 million. I said, if I put five million southwest, you will win. Hmm. That's 16 million. If you add 11, 5 million, 11, that's 16 million votes. I said, you win. Ah, I was in the sitting room that day. And he said, ah, don't leave him now. You want to kill the man? Let him, let him be. Let him be. She said, don't worry about anything. We'll put you there. I won't tell you what Lagos did. You know, all the things that were needed to make this thing happen were, you know. You mean the APC? 
um, you know, to make you know APC to make it happen in 2015. To make it was, it was amazing. Sometimes, yeah. sometimes I, I will tell you of, yeah. because of a logo. Yes, mm. it will leave Lagos mm -hmm. and go to Casina. Mm. It will leave Lagos and go to Cannes just because we want to agree mm. on a little nitty yes. gritty. Uh, all right, all right. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to get this interesting, <laughs> continue this interesting story. Now let's go on a short break. We'll be right back. Stay with us on TVC Breakfast. You're watching TVC Breakfast. On this segment, we're discussing the involvement of youth in the election process this time around. We have uh, the highest number of registered voters, 93 million eligible voters according to INEC records, and 43 million or 48 million of that number are young people. So we're talking about their involvement and how they are going to influence or how they should influence the process and what it should take. And we have in the studio special advisor for uh, water and drainage resources to the Lagos State Governor and uh, leader of Ndimu Group in Lagos, Joey Mukwe, with us. And we are making sense of all of this. Now, before we went on the break, uh, we we're talking we're about talking the about story it. behind. You know, there are some of these stories you don't read on the newspaper. Yes, no. yes, yes. They will know. Yes, we're talking about young people now. Yeah. And but, but, but they need to know some things. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> How things are organized. Yes. Because sometimes, Sinobu mm -hmm. will travel to Casino mm -hmm. and then. It will mm. meet the CPC mm. people. Mm. The CPC well, on the issue of logo. Mm -hmm. Shall we use logo? Mm -hmm. What logo shall we, shall we mm. use? Broom mm. or shall we use? Uh, uh, what, how do we call APC? Is it APC? What name are we going to call it? Mm. So people will agree with one thing. Ashaju was the messenger. It was the initiator. It was the bus conductor. Everything. <laughs> it will live there. And I come to Lagos. I say, okay, I'm going to Kano. <laughs> now I have to go and talk to the other people. And I talk to the NPP people. Mm. Talk to. <laughs> <laughs> we, we went to Abuja to to take a chieftaincy title, yeah. and all the leaders were there. I think I was the only woman that was in that place. 
I told this title. I've forgotten the title they gave you in Abekuta in the process of yeah. putting APC together. Yeah. Well, there are people who thought we are coming for, for shift and sit title. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether it's Are I go. Are I go, that's the one. one. Yes. <laughs> now, politics, we went there to play. Okay. Uh, anybody that was anybody from the North was there. Hmm. It was a kind of carnival. It was that unification that we came to accomplish. It was not. It was not. It was not. That's what you're talking about. Building bridges. Bridges. Uh, yeah, exactly. Among, among Solid um, among bridges. The south, that is it. From the south. That is it. Because that's mm. what our Lord did not do. Mm. Our Lord will go to the north. Uh, regional politics. He will just do his own. He will not make visit them here. He will not uh, do anything and so on. I will just come back and and you, and you expect to get the votes. And he, no. did, he didn't stop there, Sam. Let me mm. tell you. You know, some evenings we we'll all go to Achiwa just has to be part of the evening. Hmm? We'll be about, about 30, 40 people in his sitting room. Sleeping. In 11, 12, 1, 2, sleeping. It's only Achiwa that will be awake. He's holding so meetings. One day, yes. he came out. All of us were sleeping. He said, Look at them. They are sleeping. <laughs> only me is awake. We <laughs> laughed and laughed and laughed. And, laughed. <laughs> and, went away. and this is somebody that. Somebody will come from the north or anywhere and say he wants to contest. To contest. He will give you money. You go and contest. I've seen them bring in certificates. Mm -hmm. They say, take it, go and walk. Go and walk, go and walk. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the number. I don't know. Others are sleeping, though. He will be the only one that's awake, doing the job. Sometimes, the without, sometimes without food. Does he eat? Sometimes without food. There's one in the room. He will have a few things. Eat. Does he eat? There was one evening he came out and said, ah, I'm not uh, eating today, so give me my breakfast, my lunch, and my dinner. Like, put together. Put together. together. He said, put all of them together. <laughs> and you ate a banana, and he said, that that's my breakfast. <laughs> you think he will eat? <laughs> you think he will eat? He will just take a few things. Yes. And just walk away. Oh, my God. So the time I came, I came to his house. I be, I'm sure this is a phenomenon. I came to his house. I had no sissy in my pocket. But people feel the sitting room. I don't know how to talk to him. So about two a.m. I left. As I was going, I remembered Sunday Daddy, my friend, and I called him. Say, so, see why I came home. Eh? See why I came home. But shame, no, didn't allow me to, to say it or that. And do you know? I left. I told Sunday Daddy, please tell him. Oh. I didn't know how to tell him. By the time I go to my slept. By the time I woke up in the morning, my phone rang 30 times. You know, that's was calling me. Wow. When I called, he picked. He said, eh, but I called you. You, were, you went to sleep. I called you three times. You didn't pick. <laughs> okay, go and meet such and so person. That's his life. I won't tell you how much he gave me. That's how it is. And today, people want to pay back. I can count because I was close. I was the publicity secretary for a party for close to 15 years. So I was close to him. You know, there was a time he asked me to pick up the national distance. I did it for one day. I mean, National Publicity Secretary of our party. I did it for one day before uh, mm -hmm. Galai Mohammed came back. I don't know what happened, but he asked me to go and pick it up. I did it for one day, and they asked me to, 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 to take it back to him. So that's, that's his life. And today, it's payback time. And we're going to pay fully, heavily. We're going to pay. Nothing is too small for him. There was Nothing. There was... He's prepared for this job. And he understands his job very well. We can't, like I always say, if you are not a good food, if you don't have a good football team and you go to World Cup, at least you're going to have the next, in the first account that they will yeah, just walk you out. You, you, and you go, to, you go to a hotel and pack your bags and go. It's, it's, not, a, it's not luck. It's not luck. <laughs> you pack your bag and go. You won't even stay. If you stay, you know, you're just, you are just, you're just there to watch money. the match. You go. But that is not with the presidency or governor, being a governor. If you, are, if you don't know what you, are, you want to do and you get there, you waste eight, four years. Hmm. And if care is not taken, you waste eight years. So you have to open your eyes. The job is not for mediocre, so especially when you want to lead a complex country like Nigeria. It's not something that you can. You search. We search for leaders. He didn't just pick anybody. Mm. We made some governors that we put in the past are not supposed to be local government chairmen. Some of them, I can mm. tell you this.
Mm. Because we've seen so many they, of them. They many of them. They know. I, in my column, I've described some people as the only one they They told that those there stay inside the huge office of the of the governor, and they messed up eight years. But when I charge you, was May was elected governor in 1999. You quickly set up a 40 man committee. Pato Tommy and brains in Nigeria were there, 40 of them, to prepare a roadmap for Lagos. That is what is being followed till date. Tell me any other states that has done that. We are seeing it a little, we are seeing it in Kaduna, we are seeing it in Kano, and some other states. Some other states, they're just, uh, they are just, they are just meetings, political meetings, and share money and just go. Let me tell you, if we had, do, governors had utilized the money that got into their hands over the years, this part, since 1999, this country would have been somewhere. Well, some. There were some of them that once they take a location, they would go and buy a jet. One bought a jet and for, 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 <laughs> for business. What a jet. Private jet. No, not private jet, for passengers, you know. And investigations were carried out and it was... Person just said this, this this aircraft will not fly. Hmm. Yeah. But so, uh, as, we, as we prepare to wrap up, the, you know, t time is so flying, but we're enjoying the discussion so well. But what factors do you think will shape the voting pattern in, at this election? We have just a few days before the election. Well, the factors that will play out on Saturday is the obvious and painful truth that Labour Party uh, PDP and you know a yeah. faction of PDP and NPP are all PDP. Yes, they are all PDP. <laughs> <laughs> so we have only in the eyes of the law, they are one, <laughs> one standing APC. So check the permutations, check the do the, the small small arithmetics, and then you have a champion tested and trusted. Having bridges all over the place. It's difficult for you to be having a meeting of 30 million Nigerians or where to do Nigerians anywhere in this country, and you will not see two or three among that 30 that is Achuaju, uh, uh, that, has, that, that have been Achuaju students. You know, he must have had one or two things to do. So you can't say anything against him in any place where you have 20 to 30 people without having a friend there that will tell him what you have done. Yes. That is his network. That's actually what I do for you. How many of you will open your house to 24, almost 24 hours in body lot? He will send money for, for them to go and buy food for them. They will eat the food and throw the peppers on the street there. I try to get people to come and soup it. They will come and soup it. How many of you? One was living in Ikoidia, one PDP man was living in Ikoidia. The woman who, f who sells bolly there said, No, you won't see anybody here. The only small, small girls you'll be seeing coming and you'll be buying cars to them. You won't see any man coming to his gate to stay, but you'll see 200 people. You know, once I actually is in town, he doesn't hide it. You can't hide anymore. Once he drives in, all of us have one party. So, so that he will leave me. <laughs> <laughs> come, 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 come. Come, they, they, come. Because we will be at peace with them. They give us information. I try to will not know this. We always, in good times, we go security back at the gate. They will need one that will call you. Come, oh, come, oh. Don't come. Oh. We just, oh, don't come. Don't come. Don't come. come. Quick, quick, oh. quick, quick, quick. Come now, now, now. Where are you? <laughs> These are things that we know. So, Saturday. <laughs> I tell you, mm. it's a total sweep. Wow. You saw the, if, the, the, if, the rally, the spontaneity in the rally. Yesterday. If if we don't suffer betrayals, if not maintained, but I know they, they understand policies very well than South, they will, they will pay Ashwadu back. Right. On Saturday, by 12 1 2, call me. <laughs> I will call you. Call me. I, I, I will call you. All right. We have to leave you here now. Thank you so much, uh, Joy Bukwe, the uh, special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Water and Drainage Resources, as well as leader of uh, Indigo Group Lagos. We really appreciate your time and your insight. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank, you. Thank you for having me. Joe. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs>
<laughs> All right. Coming up, the countdown to the presidential election is winding down as Nigerians decide their fate in a matter of days. Who succeeds Muhammad Buhari as the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? This will be the crux of our discussion after the break. Stay with us now.